Hi guys, assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've uploaded anything, but today I'm going to be doing like a chit chat, get ready with me, um, post lockdown sort of makeup look. And I'm actually going to be sharing a lot of new products that I've recently purchased. So, um, a couple of things I've tried out and I know how I feel about them and then there's some that I haven't tried out so I'm still trying to figure it out um but yeah I'm gonna get straight into it so first of all I'm gonna need to prep my skin um it's been washed and cleaned and I'm going to be using the Nivea um nourishing day cream and this is SPF 15 um so yeah I picked this up recently because I was feeling very nostalgic about using Nivea face products um, I used to be a big fan of them before, um, I think you can even find a couple of videos of me using some of their products like two or three years ago and then yeah I just wanted to give this a try again and oh my gosh first of all the scent of Nivea products is just divine, I absolutely love their scents like I can't even, oh, it's just too good. I usually use like the travel like hand cream it's so good and I love the scent of it but yeah um but yeah so far I'm liking this product I've not had any sort of bad reactions to it or anything like that it seems to be doing a really good job and it is for dry and sensitive skin which I have dry skin so it's really helpful with that I'm just going to quickly put some lip balm on I always use the Vaseline one it's probably one of my favorites it's so affordable and it has SPF 15 I have bought a couple other ones, but today I just really need this. Next, I'm going to be using another Nivea product. This is the Nivea Express Primer 24 Hour Moisture Gel Cream. Oh my gosh, I remember back in the day, I used to really, really love this primer. Um, I used to use it more like a moisturiser, and it did such a good job. And yeah, so when I went to Superdrug, I found this. And it was on sale and I was like, do you know what, it's time to revisit this product because it feels so nice on the skin. It smells delicious. I'll be honest, back then when I was using it, I don't know if it actually did any like priming, but it was definitely nice on the skin and very hydrating and like moisturising. So I don't know if it does anything, but I really just like the way it feels on my skin. So that's why I, I'm quite happy to use it again. Okay, next I have another primer that I wanted to just test out. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Oh my gosh, so many people have raved about this primer. And yeah, I just feel like giving it a try. Um, Superdrug had like a buy one, get one. Um, was it? Yeah, buy one, get one free. And oh my gosh, I think people really took advantage of that. I mean because it was like one in a blue moon and I did two I actually picked this up and a bunch of other products that you will see in this video hopefully um yeah but I just added that just here where I would have my pores mostly so it looks and feels like it's done a good job next I'm going to use a foundation that I haven't used in a really long time this is a MUA Pro Base Longwear Matte Finish Foundation so this has a nice uh, applicator to it that you just put on your skin. Um, this is in the shade 154. I believe it's the right shade for me. I know I've used this before and I know I did like it. But it's been such a long time since I've actually put it on my skin again. That I just wanted to retry it and retest it out because I haven't bought any new foundations since last year I think so definitely just wanted to see how I felt about this okay so that's my foundation done I have to say that this foundation is actually really nice I forgot how nice it is on the skin it doesn't feel heavy or cakey it's got a nice medium coverage the shade is a perfect match to my skin tone and yeah i'm gonna keep trying it out again because i can't remember fully how i felt about it uh but it's done a really nice job and yes let's move on um next i'm gonna do my 
concealer i'm using the tarte shape tape concealer in the shade 29n light medium so again this is a product that i have been testing out and honestly i really do like it i just need to test it a little bit more there's been like quite a bit of breaks between me trying out products because obviously staying at home i've not really felt the need to put on makeup but every once in a while i do and i really like how it looks um, but yeah, what have you guys been up to during this lockdown? Have you guys been watching a lot of movies and films and TV shows? Um, let me know down below what you've been watching because I am struggling to find things to watch now. I feel like I've watched it all. Um, I'm nearly finished with watching Criminal Minds. I'm on season 15 right now. And honestly, I've been watching that quite religiously. And yeah, I'm excited to watch something new as well. But I need to find something new that I will enjoy. So I'm just going to leave this on the way it is. I've been told to let it sit for a little while. It's the best way that it works. I don't know how it works when you just go in straight away. Because I feel like ever since I've tried this technique, I've just liked it a lot more on my skin and it looks nicer. Um, but yeah, we're going to move on and do some blush. Okay, for blush, I'm using the MUA um, Liquid Cream Brush in Watermelon. Oh, I really, really like these blushes. These are £2.50 and they do a selection of different styles as well, which are so great and really affordable. Um, so I'm just going to use this and pop some on my cheeks. Like, you only need the littlest amount because it is super pigmented. Beautiful. I mean, I'm going to add a little bit more after I've done my concealer, but oh, stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay, so a new palette that I recently purchased is the Roxy um, Roxaurus Colour Burst Palette with Revolution. And I'm so excited because it's got some beautiful shades in it. Um, I want to try and experiment a little bit more with colour. Um, and kind of just be more adventurous so i'm going to create a look and hopefully i'm not going to use any color today i feel like because i'm just at home but uh, we'll see how it goes so i'm just going to take bang bang and just put that in my crease i usually don't tend to wear a primer on my lid it's just who i am i don't know Sometimes when I do wear it, yes, it does a really nice job of keeping it in place. Um, but generally speaking, I just tend to skip that step. I know that you can use your concealer to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go straight in. I'm using the shade Red Velvet as well now into the crease. These are like the two most wearable shades in the palette, I guess nice starter i really like lavender lavender looks super nice and pretty i don't know if it's gonna add much to my skin but it looks really pretty i'm just gonna use the shade constellation and i'm gonna pop that on my lid it's just a nice gold shimmery gold like gold color like champagne Again, I'm really at home, so I don't want to overdo it today. But don't worry, there'll be plenty of colourful looks coming your way because I definitely plan on doing like a series of like different colours. Um, I did start it on Instagram already. I've done pink, and I'm gonna do purple next, I believe. And I want to do mint green one and like there's so many different colors i want to do so definitely follow my on my instagram as well because then you just get a nice quick one minute video of me doing a makeup look and it will feature some color in it how have you guys been doing in this lockdown i know for a lot of people it has been quite tough um for me i have my ups and downs like some days i'm really really like 
happy and like cheerful and then other days I just want to crawl in bed and just stay away from the world um but yeah I do try and go for a walk at least once a day um most days I, I tend to kind of skip a day and then go for a walk but of course now lockdown has lifted so like everyone's going shopping um have you guys gone shopping yet I'm really dying to go to Primark and Ikea and B&M uh, because I want to change up my room a little bit and add some like final decoration pieces because it's somewhat ready but then it's not ready because I haven't like added any personal touches to it so yeah I'm kind of looking forward to doing that because that will make this room kind of complete and then I can finally share it with you guys because a lot of you have been asking me for a room tour but I'm waiting until I have that ready and sorted I'm just going to use my collection baking powder this is the Shelly's powder I mean and I'm just going to bake with it I always tend to use this this is an amazing powder one of my favourites affordable this is like three pounds can't go wrong does a fantastic job and yeah it's beautiful if you haven't tried it already and then i also picked up this maybelline matte and poreless powder in the shade 220 this is like my normal natural shade this is the shade i usually use um so i'm just going to use this to apply it in certain areas just to powder my skin um yeah i just repurchased this because i have one um and it's kind of like starting to lose its color and it's not working as properly so i thought i'd pick this up in that buy one get one free sale at super jugs okay so for brows i don't really have anything new that i've picked up aside from the benefit products um but i'm just gonna do my brows with this elf a brow pencil um, again, this is such an affordable product. I believe this is £3. It does a nice job. Super quick and easy. And yeah, it's just not a hassle at all. There you go. I don't really do much to my brows. I just prefer it quite simple and natural. So I'm just going to use the Essence Make Me Brow Gel. And for liner, I'm just going to use one that I have used before. Um, I'm just going to use the NYX um, Matte Liquid Liner. This is such a great liner. It's so good. It's got a really thin um, tip to it. It's quite flexible as well. Okay, that's as good as my liner is going to get um, and then I'm just going to go in with this. This is the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in Cacao. I think that's how you say it. Um, I picked this up and honestly I'm not sure about this. I haven't really used it properly so I don't know maybe I'm just a bit unsure of it. okay it looks much more in the camera than it does in person but I prefer it to be a bit subtle anyway so I guess that's good so I'm also going to use this revolution highlighter oh let me take the powder off Okay, so I'm going to use this Revolution um, highlighter in Dare to Divulge. Uh, this is only £3, I think, or £4, and it was really affordable. And I just thought it was such a beautiful colour, and I remember really liking Revolution highlighters. So I wanted to pick one up because I hadn't used one in ages. 
um, and that's not counting the Soph palette, um, the highlighter palette that she has because I love that. And yeah, this is how it looks. Mm. Okay, for mascara, I don't have a new mascara, but I'm just going to use my trusty Revolution one. There seems to be a re lot of Revolution in this um, tutorial. But I have been eyeing up a couple of Revolution products to begin with, so it was like perfect timing to buy it when there was the bug off sale, so... Okay, in terms of lip products, there's been a couple of lip products that I've been picked, picking up and yeah, I've just kind of gone a bit crazy with the lip products. So I'm going to show you all the ones I picked up and then we're going to decide what I'm actually going to put on my lips. Okay, so I have all of these that I picked up. Starting with the NYX Lingerie Push-Up in the shade Exotic, really beautiful colour. Then I also picked up this from Maybelline the super stay matte ink in 117 uh ground breaker uh this is a nice really dark sort of maroon red and then i got a couple of products from bare minerals these were in sets and i got them for 10 pounds for two products so this is the matte one and this is the gloss one so the matte one i've got the shade swank and boss and then in the glosses i've got Maverick and 24 Karat. Um, so I'm going to try these ones out because I haven't really tried them out and I only got them yesterday. So I'm going to use the shade Swank. This seems like the perfect colour for me. But we'll see how it looks on my lips. Um, I would usually wear a lip liner but today I'm just going to wing it. Okay, I feel weird because this smells like chocolates and I'm not sure if it's supposed to but it really smells quite scented of like chocolates or like, I don't know, it's just like baked goods. But yeah, this is a really nice colour. So this was Swank. I really like this colour actually. I feel like this is my silk colour and I quite like it. I also want to try this Maverick lip gloss on top um, because I feel like this might be a nice colour to just pop. Mm. I quite like this as well actually. Yeah, I'm excited to try these out and wear them more. Um, I'm not a huge on glosses but this is actually really nice and I like how it's just kind of transformed the lip product. Oh yeah, and then lastly, I'm just going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Oh, I really like this spray. I mean, I knew it was good because of all the reviews, but finally trying it out, I can definitely tell you I love it. Um, it's got a nice scent to it. It's very nicely mists and like distributes the product really nicely on your face. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's just, it's been really wonderful. It seems to do a really good job at keeping my makeup long lasting. Um, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, um, let me know down below what you have tried out new, if you have any recommendations um, and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, I do post a lot more on that so if you want to keep up to date with that and see my reviews and favourites and product recommendations then definitely uh, follow me on that but yeah I hope you are staying safe still and and making sure to not go out as much even though lockdown is over because you know the virus is still out there and hopefully I shall see you guys next time bye